This looks like a vertebra end on with a neural process. That's my guess. Are you filming that? <laughs> yes, of <laughs> course. Good morning. Today I'm just outside of Lakewood, almost at the mountains here at an area called Dinosaur Ridge. And I'm meeting four of my friends, two couples, Steve and Stacia that you saw at the Golden Cruise, the Hot Rod Show, and uh, Christian and Becky. I think I lost the video footage from the uh, evening that I went over and hung out with them. So four of my very close friends, two of which are scientists. Christian Shorely is a professor at uh, the School of Mines. I believe he teaches in geology, if I'm not mistaken. And his wife, Becky, uh, teaches high school science class. And so they're both science geeks and they do um, dinosaur digs and all sorts of cool stuff. So this will be a real fun experience to hang out with them and walk up to Dinosaur Ridge. And I'll let them talk a little bit about Dinosaur Ridge and you'll get to see it on the video. As you can see, there's a bunch of dinosaurs here, um, replica like statue type things for the kids to play around. This is like a little park waiting area while you wait for the shuttle bus that takes you up on the little tour. So there's like two or three different dinosaurs here. When I was a kid, I was really into dinosaurs like so many other kids, but I, don't, I didn't really keep up on it. Um, saw Jurassic Park and stuff like that, and I know they've changed a lot of the names, like Brontosaurus is now something else. Um, but still, it's fun to go and see things like this. This is the shuttle back here. It runs like every half hour up across the ridge where you get to stop at various points. There was some confusion over where we were meeting. I was totally in the wrong place. Everybody was in the wrong place, but now we're together. Becky came and rescued me in the parking lot. So this is the scientist Becky, super brilliant. She's gonna explain a little bit about Dinosaur Ridge, you don't have to get too technical. Okay, well, uh, I forget the exact date, but sometime like late 1800s, early 1900s, this guy Arthur Lakes discovered dinosaur bones here and sent them off to museums at back east and ultimately started the Dinosaur Bone Wars, which you should look up, it's pretty fascinating. And uh, the dinosaur bones are still embedded in the rock here, there's a whole bunch, ultimately. They abandoned digging here and went up in Tacoma Bluffs, Wyoming. Same rock formation, same age dinosaurs, but a lot easier to get out of the rock. There's a road here that we're walking on that has been closed off to the public. So now there's just a shuttle bus and parking lots on both ends. I was on the other end and they're all meeting on this end, which is part of the confusion. So <laughs> this is are. first sight. Also a dinosaur bone that if you put a Geiger counter on is hot. Oh. Yeah. So I wouldn't make radioactive dinosaur bones. <laughs> Looks like a giant tadpole, a yeah, dinosaur I mean, sized tadpole. But you see this is really hard sandstone. So for you to actually get this bone out of the rock, you got to chisel. Mm. And up in Como Bluffs, Wyoming, I was digging up there, I don't know, maybe a decade ago, and you just take like a bamboo or stuff, something mm -hmm. soft. You just kind of scrape it away. There's no really air chisel. Nothing or, like this. But the same exact formation of rocks. Huh. Just softer cement. Hello, everyone. Oh, I'm nervous. Hello. Hey, good to see you seven. Dinosaur bone with the cross section. War started about 1860. By the way, the little tour here on the shuttle bus is $8. A spectacular deal. They take you for about 45 minutes, I think, up and around the ridge, and then they stop at all these stops, and the tour guide gets out and explains everything and lets you wander around. It's a pretty good deal. We're not doing that today, but I've done it before. I'm learning about dinosaur bulges. It's, it's a great name, but it actually means like the reverse impression where the step goes down. Like picture the foot of the dinosaur or like an elephant pressing down into the mud 
and then it makes an impression and then you wipe away the mud in the back side, the opposite side. Anyway, I'll let you see what it looks like. Dinosaur Ridge is located just on this side of this little valley. Over there is the Red Rocks area with the Red Rocks Amphitheater, which is super famous for Colorado and lots of MTV videos, the early videos, some of them were shot there. And it's really fun to go hiking around there. One of these days I'll go over there and shoot some video for and uh, for one of my vlogs. I'm here with Seven and uh, he wanted to tell, me, uh, tell you a little about the Bone Wars. Back in the 1860s, I work at the Colorado School of Mines and it was our former president, Arthur Lakes, who found the first bones out here. Uh, he sent a couple of letters out to the east because we we're just pump country bumpkins out here right mm -hmm. so i sent it to two guys named cope and marsh who they'd met about 10 years before in, in europe and liked each other named some dinosaurs after each other but then something came between them we can always wonder some dino bones maybe a woman i don't know I don't okay know, could be who knows uh they hated each other by this point and so they get these letters but it's who's arthur lakes you know so they didn't respond so arthur sent a couple bones to him and uh i think it was marsh who, who wrote back and said this is fantastic i, I want to come out and we're going to dig these bones together mm -hmm. and don't tell cope <laughs> but he'd already told him with the letters so right. both cope and marsh came out and there's about five dig sites along these slopes here from those guys um, and they they hated each other enough that eventually I think there was gunfire between them I don't know oh, wow. at, at this location, but uh, up at Wyoming for sure There was some gunfire between those two camps. Wow. So when we say dinosaur bone wars, it's it's, it's a literal, literal violent bullets. war going. Bullets Yeah, bullets are wow. flying in that case, but uh, they couldn't get the bones out of this place seven can show you the uh, Bones are very cemented in here, and you, you can't even get roots of trees into here, so you need a jackhammer to blow them out, and that'd be ridiculous. So they went up to Wyoming, to Como Bluffs, where my wife Becky found a camasaur site, mm -hmm. and uh, it stuff just falls out there, and, and the bones are a little bit more together up there. But they were doing such a, a quick, shoddy job that they really messed up our terminology for a long time. So Dinosaur Bone Wars is an unfortunate uh, bit of our history in paleontology. Uh, this is volcanic ash. Um, now, nature doesn't put signs on rocks for you, so geologists, when they're kind of trying to figure out what kind of a rock it is, if we think it might be a volcanic ash, the test on this one is to bite it. And it turns to a very fine powder. Now, if you ever put volcanic ash in your mouth, and I will have grit in my teeth for the rest of the day, it's this very, very fine, rough silica powder and uh, very diagnostic for that one. So I know this is volcanic ash, and the reason I care is I can't date sediments, I can date volcanic ash. And this one's at, what is it, 104.6 million years, plus or minus 40,000 years, uh, using a, uh, a thing, no, uranium lead series dating method here. So we know everything off towards Denver is gonna be younger than that date, younger than one, 4.6 and everything off towards Red Rocks is older than that date. So this becomes a timeline, a spike right here. All you have to do is bite it and then date it. So everybody now wants to try eating the rock. So they're handing the rock around so everybody can take a taste of a rock. So they're gonna have volcanic ash and have it in your teeth all day. Uh, so you bite a sandstone, you get a grit. You bite a siltstone, it sticks to your teeth like toothpaste. How does you it taste? Clay, it kind of dissolves, and that one's just that really have silica a flavor. powder. I but it doesn't taste like chicken. There's no flavor. No, definitely not. Like, what do you think, Steve? How's it taste? I had chewing not ice. like chicken. Definitely no, not like chicken. Not like no. chicken. It's uh, it's kind of like getting sand in your mouth, like when you're yeah. at the beach or something. There you go. It doesn't have much taste. It's just kind of gritty and weird. So it's probably not worth driving all the way to Colorado to Dinosaur Ridge to taste a rock. Don't eat rocks, kids. Not. On this side of Dinosaur Ridge is a drag strip racetrack down here. So you can see all the people in their trailers and their drag racing up and down. And it's right next to the freeway. And then on back on this side is Lakewood. And in the distance, Denver going out. Becky, what's going on with this and stuff? So these are ripple marks from a beach type in environment. So the water was going, moving okay. in these two directions because the ripples come up 
and they come back down and so they're symmetrical. So if they were asymmetrical ripple marks, you have like a longer ramp on one side and steeper on the other, which would say that the water was going in one direction all the time. That'd be like a creek. If you have them symmetrical, more like this, water's going in and out, more like waves on the beach. They're information bombs. They tell you a story. Information bombs. That's what rocks are. I love that quote. So pretty much what we do is we just walk this uh, U-shaped loop that goes over the top of the ridge. I think I need to get a hat. I lost my hat in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, you probably can go back and look at those videos. But I had a really cool hat, a straw hat that I bought over in Europe. And I lost it. And I haven't been able to find a replacement that I like. So um, I'm hiding in the shade today. Just going from one tree to the next. And that's it. There's no more dinosaurs. That's all we get to see today for Dinosaur Ridge. Feeling pretty wiped today. I think I might have a sunburn going on. My face is all sore. Um, probably spent a little too much time out in the sun at the Dinosaur Ridge. Definitely need to get a hat here pretty soon. I think that's going to be on my A-list this week is to hunt down a hat that I like. That's all I have for this episode. Savor the moment. Thank you for watching. See you next episode.